Welcome to the Tailboard Talk Group video series. Uh, we're glad that you came along today. My name is Craig Duck and I'm the President and Missionary of the Fellowship of Christian Firefighters. Today we want to talk about lazy firefighters. And yeah, I think every department has them, whether paid or volunteer. And, and you know, it, it is easy to get uh, a little bit lazy from time to time. Uh, you know, we're uh, required to do a lot, so much training and so much on the computer, doing uh, target solutions or or just any of that and and so it is kind of nice to take a break and and be able to sit uh, but you know before long uh, you can get real lazy and you can be sitting in those comfortable chairs or um, and and not really doing anything uh, maybe there's a personality conflict within your department and one guy doesn't like another guy and, and the next thing you know uh, you become lazy and complacent you know complacency kills and it's important for us as firefighters and first responders to always be ready to answer the alarm and to be able to take care of the emergency and uh, bring things back to a sense of, of normalcy. So uh, so I just want to encourage you a little bit in, in not becoming lazy. You know, there's some steps that we can do. Uh, certainly make sure that your equipment is in operating, uh, proceed, you know, operating condition. Uh, you know, when you get an opportunity, if you're a volunteer, come to the station and make sure that you uh, check out the equipment regularly. Uh, you know, for you paid guys, that should be every every morning. You get in, you put your equipment on there, you check out, make sure you got every piece of equipment that you're going to need. Make sure that your uh, air packs work. You know, check your tools. Uh, the tools are only as good uh, as the firefighter that is using them and if they're in working condition. And I used to uh, tell the folks that worked under me that if they're not in working condition, then, then that's your fault. So. So again, you know, volunteers, make sure uh, you're checking that equipment out regularly. Make sure that you're uh, uh, painting the equipment that is supposed to be paintable. Make sure you're lubricating the equipment that's supposed to be lubricated. You know, some of the stuff we have, we, our department just recently purchased this uh, uh, old cutter here, and, and so we're going to be uh, training on that, and, and we're going to be showing the folks how to, how to be able to remove a roof from the car, and, and training is important. Uh, you need to do that on a, on a regular basis. Um, you know, our, our tools need to be up to snuff. And, and you know, that reminds me, the, the Bible talks a lot about being prepared and, and um, not becoming lazy. You know, Hebrews 10, 24 says, And let us consider one another, that we may stir one another up for love and good works. And, and you know, the Christian first responder is not uh, immune to being lazy. Uh, you know, sometimes it can be difficult in this world, and sometimes uh, we can be in situations we don't want to be in. And so it's easy for us to run and, and be able to hide from that. But, you know, the, the, the Bible clearly encourages us to encourage one another. Uh, we should meet together regularly for Bible study. We should, we should uh, uh, study what the, the truths uh, are contained within the Bible. We should encourage one another on a regular basis. And, and we should be in the process of day by day growing, becoming more mature, and uh, being more useful uh, to God, uh, because that is what we are supposed to do, stirring up one another for love and good works. So, so those of you in the Tailboard Talk Group, uh, we've got some stuff for you to, to uh, contemplate, to think about, to discuss how we can stir one another up, how we can not become lazy, how we can stay focused in our ministry, and how we can do everything to glorify God in the fire service. So until next time, thanks for stopping by, and I hope this has been a great encouragement to you.